Hey everyone, and welcome. Feeling like life's throwing punches faster than you can block? Does the daily grind leave you drained and yearning for a sense of calm amidst the chaos? If you're searching for a way to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and strength, then look no further than the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey that can transform your life, not just down the line, but right now. Stoicism might sound intimidating at first. You might imagine it followed by stern-faced Roman emperors, all about logic and devoid of emotion. But Stoicism is far more than just a dusty relic of the past. It's a practical philosophy that's been battle-tested by emperors, athletes, and everyday people for millennia. It offers a roadmap for living a meaningful and fulfilling life, one built on a foundation of reason, virtue, and emotional control. Here's the thing, most of us crave happiness and peace of mind, but often we chase these things in the wrong places. External validation, material possessions, fleeting pleasures. Stoicism flips the script. It teaches us that true happiness doesn't come from external circumstances, but from our internal perspective. It's about understanding and managing our emotions, not suppressing them. It's about recognizing that while life will throw its curveballs, we have the power to choose how we react. So why Stoicism for immediate life transformation? Because it provides a treasure trove of actionable principles that you can integrate into your daily life right now. We're talking about tools that can help you deal with stress in a healthy way, overcome adversity with resilience, build stronger, more meaningful relationships, and finally achieve those goals you've been putting off. Over the next few moments, we'll be diving deep into 12 core Stoic principles that can transform the way you think, feel, and act. Get ready to unlock your inner strength, cultivate unshakable inner peace, and discover the power to thrive in any situation. Let's embark on this journey together. One, embrace indifference. Show how to rise above minor rejections that don't truly matter. Imagine yourself hurtling towards a cherished goal, a dream job interview, or a meticulously planned date night. Suddenly, a brick wall, a rejection, slams into your path. Disappointment stings, doesn't it? A knot forms in your stomach, and negative thoughts like, maybe I'm not good enough, or why does this always happen to me? start swirling. Stoicism offers a powerful antidote to this emotional roller coaster. Instead of viewing rejection as a personal attack, Stoicism encourages you to see it as a neutral event, akin to a pebble on the path to your objective. Remember the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, a champion of Stoicism. In his famous Meditations, he reminds himself that external events, like rejections, are not under our control. You can't control the outcome of a job interview, but you can control how prepared you are and how you present yourself. You can't control if someone ghosts your messages, but you can control the value you assign to yourself and how much power you grant their actions. Here's where the immediate life transformation kicks in. By embracing indifference towards minor rejections, you shed the weight of emotional baggage. You no longer waste precious energy ruminating on what-ifs or indulging in self-criticism. Instead, you channel that energy into something more constructive. Didn't get that promotion? This might be the perfect time to revisit Epictetus' famous Stoic principle. It's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. You can leverage this opportunity to refine your skill set, seek feedback from colleagues, or even explore a different career path that aligns more with your current passions. A potential date stood you up? Let's consider it a fortunate misstep, allowing you to focus on the amazing individuals who truly value your time and your company. The moment you stop getting bogged down by minor rejections, a world of possibilities unfolds. You become more receptive to new experiences, noticing the abundance of doors waiting to be opened. This shift in perspective aligns with another core Stoic principle, 
the dichotomy of control. You can focus on the things within your control, your effort, your attitude, your perspective, and let go of the things outside your control, the outcome of an interview, the actions of others. This allows you to transform into a proactive individual, more willing to take calculated risks and venture into uncharted territory. Hidden talents and passions you never knew you possessed might blossom during this exploration. It's important to clarify that embracing indifference doesn't translate to apathy. The core of Stoicism lies in understanding that true happiness and fulfillment reside within yourself, not in external validation. While a rejection might sting momentarily, it doesn't define your worth. You possess the power to choose your response. This newfound sense of control is immensely empowering. It equips you to navigate life's inevitable ups and downs with greater resilience and a calmer mind, just like the stoic philosophers who came before you. As you navigate the twists and turns of life, remember that every rejection is an opportunity to learn and grow. It's a chance to refine your skills, seek feedback, and explore new possibilities. By embracing indifference towards minor rejections, you can transform your life into a journey of self-discovery, growth, and fulfillment. 2. Dichotomy of Control Focus on what you can control your thoughts, actions, and reactions, and let go of what you can't external events and the actions of others. This reduces stress and empowers you to navigate life's uncertainties. Asking yourself about what you can and can't control can feel a little strange at first. We're so used to reacting to life, getting swept up in the current of events, that stepping back and taking control of our focus seems almost counterintuitive. But that's exactly what the stoic idea of the dichotomy of control is all about. Imagine you're having a rough day, your boss is breathing down your neck, the weather's turned gloomy, and you just spilled coffee all over your favorite shirt. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, like everything's conspiring against you. But here's the thing, you can't control the weather, your boss's mood, or even the fact that you're clumsy sometimes. What you can control, however, is your reaction to all of it. The dichotomy of control asks you to separate your world into two spheres, the internal and the external. The internal sphere is your own personal domain, your thoughts, feelings, actions, and reactions. This is where your power lies. The external sphere encompasses everything else, the weather, other people's actions, random events. You can't control any of that, but you can choose how you respond to it. Think about it like driving. You're behind the wheel, navigating the ever-changing landscape of the road. There will be sunny days, pouring rain, and even the occasional unexpected detour. You can't control any of that, but you can control how fast you drive, how you react to sudden stops, and whether you let the weather ruin your mood. By focusing on your internal sphere, your driving skills, you become a more empowered and adaptable driver. Sure, this shift in focus might not lead to an overnight life transformation. It's not a magic trick that instantly solves all your problems. But over time, the benefits are undeniable. You'll find yourself less stressed, more resilient, and better equipped to handle whatever life throws your way. It's like mental training for dealing with the inevitable bumps in the road. The coolest part? By letting go of what you can't control, you open yourself up to a whole new range of possibilities. You're not wasting energy on negativity, so you're free to focus on the good stuff, find creative solutions to problems, and appreciate the beauty in the unexpected. It's like having more mental bandwidth to navigate life's uncertainties with a clear head and a positive attitude. Then, the dichotomy of control isn't a one-time fix. It's a philosophy, a way of approaching life that takes practice. But with consistent effort, it can transform the way you view the world and empower you to find more peace and happiness in the journey, no matter the weather or the traffic on the road. 3. Virtue is the highest good. Cultivate core virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These are the foundations of a meaningful life, 
not external possessions or achievements. You may know that feeling, that gnawing sense that true happiness hinges on the next big acquisition, the dream job, the luxurious car. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy with surprising relevance today, flips that script entirely. It proposes that the cornerstone of a good life isn't external validation or material possessions, but rather the cultivation of core virtues, the bedrock upon which a meaningful existence is built. Imagine your life as a house. A fancy roof and expensive furnishings won't do much good if the foundation itself is crumbling. So, how do these virtues translate into an immediate transformation of your daily experience? Let's take wisdom, for example. Imagine yourself facing a critical decision, a crossroads that could significantly impact your life's trajectory. With wisdom as your compass, you're equipped to pause, meticulously gather information, and engage in critical thought. This virtue empowers you to sidestep rash choices fueled by fleeting emotions and instead, make well-considered decisions that align with your core values. The immediate result? A calmer, more confident you, navigating life's complexities with a newfound sense of purpose. Now, courage isn't just about the realm of daring feats and death-defying stunts. It's the unwavering strength that allows you to confront your deepest fears head-on. Maybe there's a difficult conversation that needs to be had, or a professional risk you've been contemplating taking. Courage equips you with the fortitude to take that crucial first step, even when your palms are slick with sweat and your heart pounds a frantic rhythm. And here's the beauty of it. The very act of demonstrating courage, the act of facing your fears, often becomes a catalyst for a surge in confidence and resilience. You might surprise yourself with the hidden depths of your own strength. Justice, in the Stoic sense, extends far beyond simply following the letter of the law. It's the unwavering commitment to fairness, treating others with dignity and respect in every interaction. This commitment to justice can manifest in simple acts, honestly splitting the bill with a friend, or standing up for someone being bullied. By consistently acting with justice as your guiding principle, you contribute to a more positive and harmonious environment around you. This, in turn, fosters a greater sense of peace and belonging, a feeling of being part of something bigger than yourself. Temperance, often misunderstood as deprivation or austerity, is all about finding balance in all areas of life. It's the guiding light that helps you navigate the often murky waters of excess. Perhaps you find yourself succumbing to the allure of social media a little too readily. Temperance, in this instance, would be the act of setting healthy boundaries, carving out dedicated spaces in your day to focus on more fulfilling pursuits. This mindful approach to life cultivates a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment, replacing the stress of excess with a clear head and a lighter heart. These are just a few examples of how these virtues can transform your life. The true magic lies in their interconnectedness. By diligently cultivating one virtue, you naturally strengthen the others. It's a ripple effect, a positive transformation that unfolds bit by bit, day by day. It may not be an overnight revolution, but the journey of cultivating virtue is a path that leads you towards a more meaningful and fulfilling life, both in the present moment and in the grand scheme of things. For live in the present moment. Don't dwell on the past or worry about the future. Savor the present moment and focus on the task at hand. This fosters mindfulness and reduces anxiety. The great Stoic philosopher, Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This wisdom is at the heart of the Stoic philosophy, and nowhere is it more evident than in the concept of living in the present moment. Now, let's talk about the idea of living in the present moment. This is a fundamental concept in Stoicism, and it's something that can have a profound impact on our lives. The idea is simple. Instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, we should focus on the present moment. This means letting go of regrets and anxieties, and instead, 
savoring the here and now. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once wrote, the greatest obstacle to living is expectancy, which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. This is a powerful reminder that we often get caught up in worrying about what's to come, rather than living in the present. By focusing on the present moment, we can let go of this expectation and start to live more fully. But how can we start to live in the present moment? One way is to practice mindfulness. This means paying attention to your thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations in the present moment. It's about being aware of your breath, your body, and your surroundings. You can try meditation or deep breathing exercises to help you cultivate this awareness. You can also try to focus on the sensations in your body, such as the feeling of your feet on the ground or the sensation of the air on your skin. And we all know about Marcus Aurelius, who also wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This is a powerful reminder that even the things that seem to be obstacles can actually be opportunities for growth and learning. By focusing on the present moment, we can start to see things in a new light and find ways to overcome the challenges that come our way. And then, how can we start to live in the present moment? Here are a few questions to ask yourself. What am I focusing on in this moment? Am I dwelling on the past or worrying about the future? What can I control in this moment? What can I let go of? As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said again, it's not what you do once in your life that matters, but what you do with your whole life that counts. By living in the present moment, we can start to live more fully and make the most of the time we have. So, take a deep breath and start to savor the present moment. And remember, by focusing on the present moment, we can start to create the life we want to live. 5. Memento Mori Remember you must die being aware of your mortality can help you prioritize what truly matters and live life with greater purpose. The concept of memento mori, or remember you must die, may seem morbid at first, but it's actually a powerful tool for transforming your life. It's not about dwelling on death, but rather using it as a reminder to focus on what truly matters. By acknowledging that life has a deadline, even if we don't know the exact time, it forces us to reevaluate what's truly important. Take Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and philosopher, for example. Despite being a powerful leader, he struggled with the daily stresses of ruling a vast empire. To cope, he kept a personal journal, Meditations, where he reflected on Stoic principles, including Memento Mori. He wrote about how visualizing his own death helped him detach from unimportant worries and focus on what truly mattered, justice, duty, and living a virtuous life. Knowing his time was limited, he prioritized leaving a positive impact on the world. This focus on what truly matters can lead to an immediate life transformation. You might not win the lottery tomorrow, but you can start living a more meaningful life today. Maybe it's finally reaching out to that friend you haven't spoken to in years, or starting that passion project you've been putting off because of fear. The key is to shift your perspective and prioritize what truly brings you joy and fulfillment. Memento Mori reminds you to ditch the things that won't bring you lasting happiness, like chasing fleeting trends or possessions. Instead, invest your time and energy in what really matters. Even modern figures like James Stockdale, a former Navy SEAL, use stoicism, including the idea of memento mori, to find strength and purpose. As a prisoner of war in Vietnam for years, he could have easily succumbed to despair. Instead, he used memento mori to focus on what he could control, his own thoughts and actions, and that helped him endure unimaginable hardship. Memento mori isn't about fear. It's about embracing the preciousness of time and making the most of it. It's about living a life you wouldn't regret, even knowing it will end someday. So next time you're feeling stuck in a rut, remember that little voice whispering, Memento Mori, 
It might just be the nudge you need to start living a life with more purpose and fulfillment right now. In essence, Memento Mori is a powerful tool for living a more intentional, meaningful life. By acknowledging the preciousness of time, you can start making choices that align with your values and priorities. You can start living a life that truly reflects what's important to you, and that's a life worth living. 6. Stoic Negativism Practice negative visualization by imagining worst-case scenarios. This helps prepare you for setbacks and reduces the sting of disappointment. The road to growth is rarely paved with sunshine and rainbows. It's often the bumps and detours that truly shape us. That's where the idea of worst-case scenario pondering comes in. It might sound like a recipe for disaster, picturing everything going wrong. But hear me out. Imagine you're training for a marathon. You wouldn't just envision yourself cruising to the finish line, right? You'd prepare for the scorching sun, the potential for a pulled muscle, maybe even hitting the wall. By mentally rehearsing these challenges, you're not jinxing yourself, you're building resilience. It's the same with life. Let's discover what's interesting here. Take some quiet time each day and imagine yourself facing those potential roadblocks. Maybe it's a job layoff, a health scare, or a relationship hurdle. Feel the emotions that well up, the fear, the worry, the sting of disappointment. But here's the key. Don't get sucked into the negativity. Instead, observe these emotions with a sense of curiosity, like watching a passing cloud. This detachment helps you develop equanimity, a calmness that allows you to weather any storm. By the way, this practice isn't just about stealing yourself for the worst. It can also make you appreciate the good stuff even more. By contemplating potential loss, you realize just how precious the present moment is. That morning cup of coffee, the laughter with loved ones, these everyday joys suddenly shine brighter. It's a recipe for greater contentment, even when life throws curveballs. Here's the bonus. Worst case scenario pondering can make you a master problem solver. By picturing potential hurdles, you can brainstorm solutions in advance. Stuck imagining a tech meltdown during your presentation? Prepping backup slides becomes second nature. Worried about a fight with your partner? You can practice open communication skills beforehand. This mental preparation fosters adaptability and resourcefulness, making you a pro at navigating tricky situations. Now, this isn't a magic bullet for instant life transformation. It's a practice, a muscle you strengthen over time. But by familiarizing yourself with potential setbacks and cherishing the good stuff, you build resilience, emotional intelligence, and a newfound peace with life's uncertainties. It's not about negativity, but about cultivating a clear-eyed perspective, one that allows you to face any challenge with a cool head and a grateful heart. So why not give it a try? You might surprise yourself at how much this worst-case scenario pondering empowers you to live a more fulfilling life. 7. Stoic Apathy Apathy doesn't mean feeling nothing. It means not being controlled by external events. Develop emotional resilience to navigate life's ups and downs with equanimity. Life throws curveballs. A spilled drink before a big presentation. A flight cancellation right before a vacation. These moments can send our emotions into a tailspin. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy practiced by Roman emperors and everyday people alike, offers a powerful tool to navigate these situations with greater composure, what they term stoic apathy. But fear not, it's not about becoming an emotionless robot. Imagine yourself on a chariot ride through life. In the stoic view, apathy signifies holding the reins, not being yanked around by external events. You'll still feel the initial jolt of frustration when your flight gets grounded, but it won't spiral into a day-ruining frenzy. As Epictetus, a famous Stoic teacher, reminds us, it's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. The key is to acknowledge the emotion, 
like a wave approaching the shore. But instead of being swept away, you learn to ride it out and regain your balance. The path to this emotional resilience lies in differentiating between your control and what's entirely out of your hands. You can't control the fact that your flight is canceled, but you can certainly control your response. A core Stoic principle is encapsulated in their proverb, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one thing. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after we distinguish between the two that we can begin to find peace. Put simply, you can choose to be proactive. Research alternate travel arrangements. Perhaps even use the delay to finally conquer that ever-growing stack of unread books. This emphasis on what you can control connects to another cornerstone of Stoicism. Virtue. Stoics believe that cultivating virtues like honesty, courage, justice, and wisdom is the key to a flourishing life. By actively developing these virtues, you build a robust inner core that equips you to weather life's inevitable storms. Imagine yourself constructing a sturdy house, one that can withstand strong winds and remain a place of peace even amidst the chaos of a storm. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic practitioner, famously contemplated, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Don't expect Stoicism to be a magic bullet for instant life transformation. It's a philosophy, a way of viewing the world, and it requires consistent effort. The more you train yourself to focus on your control zone and respond thoughtfully to events rather than react impulsively, the calmer and more in control you'll feel even when things go awry. It's a gradual process, but the benefits of emotional resilience are a worthwhile pursuit on the path to a more fulfilling life. Remember, as Seneca, another prominent Stoic figure, wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. 8. Act with reason. Make decisions based on logic and reason, not emotions. This leads to sound judgments and minimizes impulsive actions. The unexamined life is not worth living, Socrates famously declared. This powerful statement resonates deeply with Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that emphasizes the importance of reason over impulsive emotions. Stoicism isn't about morphing into a Spock-like emotionless being, but rather acknowledging that our feelings can distort our judgment. The key to navigating life's inevitable twists and turns lies in acting with clear-headed reason, not fleeting emotional urges. Consider the scenario. You're scrolling through social media, feeling content and at ease. Suddenly, a post from a friend vacationing in a breathtaking paradise throws your contentment into disarray. A surge of jealousy erupts. You haven't had a vacation in ages. Fueled by this emotional fire, you might impulsively book a last-minute trip that throws your budget into disarray and wreaks havoc on your work schedule. This is hardly the recipe for a fulfilling life, is it? Stoicism encourages a pause for reflection before reacting. Instead of being swept away by the emotional current, consider the bigger picture. Ask yourself, does this jealousy truly serve me? What are the logical consequences of booking this trip right now? By carving out this space for thoughtful analysis, you're more likely to make a decision that aligns with your long-term goals and core values, not just a passing emotional whim. This emphasis on reason extends its reach into every facet of your life. Facing a difficult conversation with your boss? Don't march in fueled by anger, ready to launch into a verbal tirade. Instead, gather your thoughts, contemplate the most effective approach to achieve your desired outcome, and then have the conversation with a calm and rational demeanor. The same principle applies to everyday choices. A craving for sugar hits you. Instead of mindlessly reaching for the candy bar, remember your health goals and make a conscious decision about what indulgence you'll allow yourself. 
Emotions are an intrinsic part of the human experience, and attempting to suppress them entirely can be just as detrimental as letting them dictate your actions. The key lies in acknowledging your emotions, understanding their source, and then utilizing reason to guide your choices. Think of it as this, your emotions are the wind, constantly exerting a force on you, pushing and pulling you in various directions. Reason, on the other hand, acts as the rudder, allowing you to steer your ship through the waves and reach your intended destination. By harnessing the power of your emotions alongside the clarity of reason, you can navigate life with a greater sense of purpose and direction. This shift towards making decisions based on logic might not lead to immediate life transformation, but over time, it will pave the way for a more fulfilling and less stressful life. 9. Duty and Responsibility Fulfill your obligations and responsibilities with integrity. This builds trust and fosters a sense of purpose. Everyday life throws a bunch of stuff our way, work deadlines, family commitments, errands that pile up. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and just go on autopilot. But here's the thing. Stoicism, this ancient philosophy, offers a way to approach these daily obligations that can lead to a real transformation, not just some fleeting motivational high. See, the Stoics talk about duty and responsibility, but it's not about feeling burdened. They say fulfilling these obligations with integrity, meaning doing what you said you do and acting with honesty, is key. This might sound simple, but it makes a huge difference. When you, say, tackle that work project with focus and give it all, you're not just meeting a deadline. You're building trust with your colleagues, showing them you're reliable. That builds a sense of accomplishment, a feeling that you mattered that day. You go home knowing you contributed something valuable, and that little spark of purpose can light up your entire week. And this integrity thing, it goes beyond just work. Imagine you promised your friend you'd help them move. Sure, it might cut into your Netflix time, but showing up and giving them a hand strengthens your friendship in a way that a virtual thumbs up never could. It shows you're someone they can count on, someone who follows through. Over time, these small acts of integrity weave a web of trust in your relationships, both personal and professional. People appreciate knowing you'll be there, that you're someone who walks the walk, not just talks the talk. This fosters a sense of connection, a feeling that you belong to something bigger than yourself. But it's not all about external validation. Fulfilling your duties with integrity fosters a sense of purpose within yourself too. You see, when you shirk responsibilities or act with dishonesty, there's a nagging feeling, right? A little voice that says you didn't live up to your own standards. But when you face your obligations head-on and act with integrity, there's a quiet satisfaction. You know you did what you said you would, you stayed true to yourself. That builds inner strength and a sense of purpose that goes beyond the daily grind. It's a feeling of being aligned with your values, of living a life of authenticity. And that, my friend, is true transformation. Sure, there will be days when following through is tough. Maybe you're exhausted, or something unexpected throws a wrench in your plans. But that's where the Stoic practice comes in. They teach you to focus on what you can control, your own actions and reactions. You can't control that traffic jam that makes you late, but you can control your attitude and how you approach the situation. By focusing on what's within your circle of influence, and acting with integrity within that circle, you can find a sense of purpose and peace that transforms your everyday life, one honest action at a time. It's not about grand gestures or superhuman feats, but about the quiet power of showing up, being reliable, and staying true to yourself. And that, my friend, is a recipe for a life well-lived. 10. A more fatty, love of fate accept what you cannot change and focus on what you can. This fosters inner peace and reduces feelings of frustration. Day after day, you learn. You miss the train, your flight gets delayed, that dream job application gets rejected. Life throws curveballs, some big, some small, 
and they all have a way of leaving you frustrated, maybe even a little angry. But what if there was a way to approach these situations differently, a way that could lead to a calmer, more peaceful you? That's where a more fatty, a core principle of Stoicism, comes in. It's a fancy Latin term that simply means love of fate. Now, this doesn't mean blindly accepting every bad thing that happens as some kind of cosmic joke. It's about understanding that there are things in life that are entirely out of our control. Traffic jams, other people's actions, the weather. Instead of wasting energy trying to fight the inevitable, a more fatty encourages you to focus on what you can control. Your own thoughts, reactions, and actions. Imagine you're stuck in rush hour traffic. You can't control how fast the cars move, but you can control your reaction. You can choose to get flustered and frustrated, letting the situation ruin your mood. Or you can choose to accept it, maybe even use the time to listen to a podcast or plan out your day. By focusing on what's within your circle of influence, you take back a sense of power and control, reducing that feeling of helplessness. This shift in perspective isn't just about managing frustration in the moment. It's about cultivating inner peace and resilience in the long run. When you constantly dwell on things you can't change, it's like carrying a heavy weight around. A more fatty helps you lighten that load. You learn to let go of what you can't control and focus on what you can, your own growth, your attitude, your actions. This frees up mental space and emotional energy, allowing you to approach challenges with a calmer, more centered mindset. Sure. There will be times when accepting fate feels tough. Maybe you lose someone close to you or experience a major setback. But even in these difficult moments, a more fatty offers a path forward. It doesn't mean pretending everything is okay. It means acknowledging the pain, the frustration, the anger. But then, it encourages you to find a way to move on, to learn from the experience, and to keep living your life with purpose and meaning. A more fatty isn't a magic bullet, it's a practice. It takes time and effort to cultivate this acceptance of fate. But the rewards are substantial. By focusing on what you can control and letting go of the rest, you'll find yourself feeling calmer, more resilient, and better equipped to handle whatever life throws your way. It's not about immediate life transformation, but a gradual shift towards a more peaceful and empowered way of being. 11. Live according to nature. Live in harmony with nature and the universe. This promotes a sense of belonging and interconnectedness. Let's delve deeper into the concept of living in harmony with the natural world. Is it simply a philosophical notion, or does it hold a deeper significance for our lives? When we discuss living according to nature, it goes beyond adopting a few eco-friendly practices although those are certainly crucial steps. Here, we're talking about something more fundamental, aligning our existence with the rhythms and patterns of the universe, finding our place within the grand tapestry of life. Imagine being surrounded by nature. We often experience a profound sense of serenity, tranquility, and belonging to something far greater than ourselves. It's as if we're tapping into a deeper connection a primal sense of unity that transcends our daily anxieties. This, in essence, is the essence of living according to nature. It's about recognizing that we're not isolated beings, but intricately connected to the world around us. We're not the center of the universe, but rather a vital thread woven into the intricate web of life. This understanding of our place within the grand scheme fosters a profound sense of unity and oneness with the universe. How can we achieve this? You might wonder. Living in harmony with nature isn't about drastic overnight changes. It's about subtle, incremental shifts in perspective. We can begin by recognizing ourselves not just as human beings, but as human beings existing in a relationship with the land, air, water, and all the creatures that share this planet. Take a moment to appreciate the beauty of a sunrise, the majesty of mountains, or the serenity of a quiet forest. This allows us to understand that we're not separate from the earth, but a part of it, 
our actions have consequences that ripple out into the world. In practical terms, this means being more mindful of our environmental impact. We can make conscious choices about the products we buy, the food we consume, and the way we travel. Our well-being is inextricably linked to the well-being of the planet. When the Earth suffers, so do we. When the Earth thrives, so do we. It's about finding a sense of balance, a sense of harmony, between our own needs and desires and the needs and desires of the natural world. But it goes beyond that. We're not just solitary individuals. We're part of a larger ecosystem. Our actions have consequences that extend far beyond our own lifetimes. We're part of a delicate web of relationships, connecting us to the land, the creatures that inhabit it, and the very fabric of the universe itself. When we see ourselves in this light, the transformation begins. We start to feel a sense of responsibility, a sense of stewardship. We recognize that our actions have consequences, not just for ourselves, but for the planet as a whole. And that, my friend, is the most significant transformation of all. 12. Practice daily. Integrate stoic principles into your daily life through journaling, meditation, and reflection. Consistency is key to experiencing real transformation. That last principle we want to explore is all about integrating stoicism into your daily life. It's great to crack open a stoic text and be hit with a wave of, aha, that's it, moments. But understanding the philosophy is just the first step. To truly experience its transformative power, we need to make it a habit, a daily practice. Think of it like building muscle memory. You wouldn't expect to see sculpted arms after a one-time gym session, would you? Daily stoic practice is similar. It's about carving out dedicated time, even if it's just a few minutes, to weave its principles into your everyday life. This could be anything from journaling your reflections after a tough day to taking a mindful walk in nature. The key is consistency, making it a non-negotiable part of your routine. As you do this day after day, week after week, you'll start noticing a shift, a newfound focus, a greater inner peace, and a resilience that helps you weather life's inevitable storms. Journaling is your secret weapon in the stoic arsenal. It's a sacred space where you can unpack your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Putting pen to paper grants you valuable insights into your inner workings. You identify patterns, gain clarity, and begin to understand yourself on a deeper level. This self-reflection helps you see the fleeting nature of your emotions and thoughts, empowering you to let go of burdens that might be weighing you down. It's like a therapy session with yourself, allowing you to confront your fears, desires, and motivations. This self-awareness is crucial for making informed decisions that align with your values and goals, not just knee-jerk reactions fueled by fleeting emotions. Meditation is another powerful tool on your stoic journey. This ancient practice has been around for centuries, offering a profound way to cultivate inner peace, focus, and clarity. The beauty of meditation is its adaptability. Whether you're a seasoned practitioner or a complete beginner, you can find a practice that fits your lifestyle. As you dedicate time to meditation, you'll start noticing a shift in your mental and emotional landscape. Stress levels seem to melt away, replaced by a sense of calm and focus. It's like quieting the mental chatter, allowing you to tap into your inner wisdom and intuition. This heightened self-awareness empowers you to make intentional decisions that are aligned with your values and goals, not just autopilot reactions to external stimuli. The real magic happens when you weave these practices, journaling, meditation, and mindful moments into the fabric of your daily life. You'll become more present, more focused, and better equipped to handle challenges. You'll make decisions with greater intention, guided by your values and goals. You'll cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace and experience a newfound clarity in your day-to-day -day life. 
Daily practice isn't about immediate transformation. It's about gradual, yet profound, change. It's about becoming more grounded, more centered, and at peace with yourself and the world around you. It's about embodying the principles of Stoicism, not just reading about them and witnessing them take root in your life. So, pick up that dusty Stoic text or open a fresh journal and embark on your Stoic journey. The daily practice might surprise you with the incredible transformation it brings. So, we've explored 12 powerful Stoic principles that can be integrated into your life to cultivate greater resilience, inner peace, and overall well-being. But remember, Stoicism isn't about a quick fix or a one-time application. It's a philosophy meant to be a companion on your life's journey. It's about developing a new way of seeing the world and responding to its inevitable challenges. The key to unlocking the transformative power of Stoicism lies in consistent practice. Think of it like planting a seed. You wouldn't expect a magnificent flower to bloom overnight, would you? Daily practices like journaling, meditation, and reflecting on your experiences allow these Stoic principles to take root and grow within you. As you cultivate these practices, you'll find yourself becoming more mindful of your thoughts and emotions. You'll learn to distinguish between what you can control and what you can't, and to focus your energy on the former. This newfound perspective empowers you to navigate life's uncertainties with greater grace and resilience. You'll become less reactive to external circumstances and more capable of choosing your response. Challenges that once seemed insurmountable will become opportunities for growth and learning. You'll start to experience a sense of inner peace that comes from accepting what is outside your control and focusing on living virtuously within your own sphere of influence. Ultimately, Stoicism isn't just about personal transformation. It's about contributing to a better world. As you embody Stoic principles like justice, courage, and wisdom, you'll inspire those around you. By focusing on your own well-being and acting with integrity, you become a force for positive change in your community. Remember, a life guided by Stoic principles is a life well-lived, a life filled with meaning, purpose, and enduring inner strength. So take what you've learned here, begin your Stoic practice today, and embark on a journey of continuous growth and transformation.